Hey, it's going to YouTube. So you know it's best here. Here with the showdown to end them all. This is the Google TV versus the Apple TV. Now, a lot of people are interested. Which one do I get? But hopefully this video will help you with that. Now, let's first start talking about the OS, the operating system. The Google TV OS is very streamlined, very simple. Both of them are really simple OS. Let's get, get that out of the way. But the Google TV adds a lot more things. It adds multitasking, it adds internet capabilities, it adds the ability to download third-party applications. And it just has a lot more going for it, but it still remains very simple to navigate. Anybody can navigate this. It's customizable. There's things on the list right there in the left-hand side. You can rename them, mark, or whatever. And I can um, edit and add and drop you know, my favorite applications, like my Twitter application or Netflix or my favorite channels or movie list. I can add those and specifically design Design those to my mark little playlist there and uh, and overall just everything works very smoothly even the picture and picture view if you're watching live on TV uh, you can have the picture and picture view they have that box there at the bottom right hand corner and still navigate the Google TV interface now the Apple TV interface is just as streamlined it's just as simple it doesn't have as, as much going on there's no multitasking yet there's no third-party application download support. It's not customizable at all. It's basically you sign in with your iTunes account and you rent a movie, you listen to a, a radio station or watch a YouTube video or watch Netflix. Uh, but it is very simple. I, I haven't had any headaches. As far as um, setting up both of these devices, the Apple TV, you can get set up in two minutes. The Google TV, though, is going to take a little while. My experience with the Sony Google TV, I went through an initial setup, got everything set up, and then I connected to my internet connection and said it was an update available. Well, that's cool. But when I was so I had to go and update it, but it restarted, and then I had to start all the way over and set it up from the bare bones setting, just like I opened it up out of the box all over again. That just didn't make sense to me. Um, but that tells you that the Apple TV is very easy to set up, but Google TV takes a little while uh, to set up, and you really got to make sure you uh, uh, get everything in order before you start that. So let's look at the OSs. Now let's talk about video playback. Um, with the Google TV, you have the option to use whatever you want to. You can't use iTunes yet, but you can use Amazon Video Place. Uh, you can use whatever you really want to. And in this demonstration, I mean, I went to the Amazon Video uh, Store there and uh, started renting a movie, and it started instantly. Now the problem though is, even though it started instantly, the video didn't buffer all the way, so the quality kind of sucked for the first minute or two. But after that, it did eventually buff out. Um, and basically, I'm using the Chrome browser, so that can kind of you know talk about that and kind of compensate for that. Now the Apple TV though, I mean, you're going to be running 720p and uh, it may take a few seconds to buffer depending on the movie or it may take you know a few minutes to buffer the movie but once you start playing the movie it's high quality the audio and video looks fantastic now the google tv though i forgot to mention you are able to get 1080p uh, video streaming to it where the apple tv is only limited to 720p uh, but just the ones i've used the videos i watch i haven't seen a better performance than the apple tv as far as video quality yet that may get better with more applications coming for the google tv and speaking of applications both of these platforms do run netflix natively you can sign in with your netflix account and browser instant queue and watch instant uh, streaming videos on both of these devices now however the apple tv is in regards to hulu doesn't have hulu yet there's no word that it's going to get hulu yet but also, too, the Google TV right now at the time of this video at launch doesn't have Hulu yet either. But a Hulu representative contacted me on Twitter and said they are working on that and they will be bringing Hulu Plus to the Google TV. So you can navigate via the Chrome browser and go to Hulu uh, Plus .com, whatever it is, and uh, start watching uh, TV shows and movies and stuff like that once they make that available to the Google TV. But it is on the way, at least. And... Um, Speaking of, uh, let's talk about hardware. Now, the, uh, Google TV is going to have the advantage to be put on many types of different hardware, from Sony to Logitech, and other people are going to be working different hardware boxes that you can buy. And also, Sony is actually integrating Google TV inside TV sets themselves. So that's pretty cool. The Apple TV, it's only one Apple TV you know, set that's going to be released probably once a year, or two years, or three years. Nobody knows. But it's not going to be leased out to third parties. It's going to be one set Apple TV with the one set specs for however long Apple decides. With the Google TV, you know, Logitech can release a new box in six months that may have better specs, better performance, better processor, more RAM, more memory, all that stuff. So that's the advantage that the Google TV has. But Apple is controlling the experience with the Apple TV just by having one. So in that kind of, kind of regard, that is Apple's advantage as far as the hardware. And each one of these devices is going to come, well, let me talk about the uh, uh, remote controls. Uh, the Apple TV does come with a little aluminum remote control. I know I'm talking fast, but 
got a lot of stuff to talk to. Uh, but the uh, Apple TV comes with a little aluminum remote control, but also you can download a free remote application for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad as well, which do work very well. You got to be connected to the Wi-Fi network, of course. Um, and the Google TV box, at least the Sony Internet Blu-ray Google TV box that I'm using for this demo um, and the, for this battle here, uh, it comes with this little keyboard controller, which is, fits very comfortable in your hand. has a lot of buttons, but they're very simple and straight, and it's customizable as well. And it, it is actually a really good um, remote control that turns into a universal remote control because it learns how to use your TV and your cable provider uh, DVR box all at the same time with this one remote. So I do like that factor. So overall, I know you're really waiting to what do I recommend as far as you get. Now, as far as feature set and performance, I have to say I really like the Google TV. I think it has a lot more features with the multitasking um, and the downloadable applications. And it just has a really bright feature and letting us know that things are going to be coming in the future for it. You'll be able to play Android applications normally on your phone on your Google TV. They'll scale up and we'll see how that works. But I say the Google TV just has a lot more going for it. It's a lot more usable on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the Apple TV is more limited to really just movies and, and renting movies and TV shows, which it does perfectly. It does better than the Google TV, but that's all it does at the moment, you know, besides Netflix and YouTube and all that stuff, which the Google TV does as well. Um, but I think the bottom line is going to come to what you're going to be doing with this thing. Um, because if it, the, it's a big price difference. The Apple TV is only 100 bucks. Where this Sony TV box, which is also a Blu-ray player though, is 400 bucks. Now, if you probably take off that Blu-ray player, that probably save 100 and 150 dollars. So it wouldn't be too much higher than the Apple TV. But the bottom line is, it's 400 dollars for the Sony box, it's 100 dollars for the Apple TV box. But the Sony Google TV box does a lot more than the Apple TV box. Um, so we'll we'll have to see. Uh, where that goes and Apple price point is very perfect for a lot of people, especially in these times. Um, and I think it just really comes down to what you're going to be using. Do you want to use the Apple TV just for the TV? Then it's going to be fine. If you want to use the Google TV, then you're going to have to spend a little bit more bucks. But I guarantee you, you're going to find that the experience and the extra features are well worth it. So I'm liking the Google, Google TV in this battle. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I'd like to thank you all for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.